Well, we can speak now to Arun Dola. He was adopted from India by a German couple when he was just two months old. He's also the founder of the campaign group Against Child Trafficking, Fighting uh, Illegal Adoption. <laughs> when you saw that report, what did it make you think about your story? I mean, it, it, it relates to my story in the sense that uh, I, I'm also born to an unmarried mother and uh, her situation was uh, kind of exploited. But I also fought a case in the Supreme Court and we fought a bigger case uh, requesting the CBI to investigate. And uh, for the research I actually found out about uh, International Mission of Hope and the Sri Krishna Nursing Home and that the whole record actually is, goes back more than three decades. And uh, it was actually brought to the Supreme Court's notice uh, in 1982 already. It, it took you years, I think, to, to, to track your natural mother, to get the documents, even to get access to the documents. What, what happened to her? D d was she part of this racket, do you know? Uh, unwittingly? Mm, not of that racket, uh, like uh, with, with in, in Calcutta now, but certainly her vulnerable position has been exploited. And, um, yeah, I've been just shipped abroad and there was no real consent. And the problem is that the orphanage uh, did not give the records. So that was the main fight which took me 17 years to actually get the records. And I believe also that in Calcutta there must be, you know, at least some records so that the adoptees can actually find back or reconnect with, uh, with, with their mothers. Do you think adoption I I is wrong? Do you think that is the only way that something like this can be prevented? Um, if you look in the UN Convention on the Right of the Child, adoption is not a child protection measure. And that's the problem here. People think that adoption is a genuine child protection measure, but it's not. So adoption and inter-country adoption actually create a market and, you know, a fertile ground for such records to happen. So the illegal adoptions and the legal trade in children actually overlap. Are things getting easier that your organization, I mean, are you able to help other people track their birth parents more easily now than, than what you had to go through? Yes, I, I mean, that became sort of my work um, because, yeah, we have the contacts and the expertise, so I feel kind of obliged to assist other adoptees in, you know, retracing their parents. And um, luckily, through many court cases which we fought, we have a standing now where actually authorities and the orphanages hardly can say no to us anymore, so we can assist adoptees. And, and how, do, how do you feel? How, how has it affected you and your life? <laughs> I mean, I was a quite successful, uh, successful financial consultant and I left the work um, to actually assist other adoptees and not only that, to, you know, um, advocate for correct implementation of the UNCRC and stop this child trafficking. I've been working in Ethiopia, Malawi, Congo, China also. Okay, but, 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 but it has left scars though. S sorry, I didn't it, it, hear but you. But has it left scars for you, emotional scars? Um, I'm long over that emotional scar since 12 or 15 years. I mean, I've dealt with it and that's uh, for me over. Okay, Arun Dole, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us uh, on the programme.